Welcome back to video number th uh, 3 in our Safe List Survival Guide series. In this video I'm going to show you how to write some ads, how to do some simple HTML ads, and tell you a bit about uh, what you need to use as a credit link for your Safe List ads. Now we'll start with doing a simple text ad, because not all Safe Lists allow, allow you to use uh, HTML and you might not be very savvy with HTML anyway. But I use the affiliate funnel as an example. Uh, it's a new and very popular program. But in their promotion tools, they have a sample safe list email. I'll just copy that into Word file. Now, this is a um, it's pretty good safe list ad. It's short and to the point, but there's a few things you would need to change before you use this. First of all, the subject line. If every other member of the affiliate funnel is going to send this uh, safe list ad, they all use this subject line. So you want to make yourself stand out. So, if you copy the some good subject lines from other safe list ads, you might have something to use or you can make up your own. And another thing, most uh, many safe lists will allow you to put in personalization text and you get them from safe list, but it'll often be something like like first name. As I said, you, you'll find that at the individual safe list what they use, but but this will pass as a first name, so it'll make it stand out a bit. And you need to format this out as well, make it look a bit prettier. Like as I say in the ebook, always include your your name for branding purposes. If I ever learned to type, it would help a lot. And include a link. <laughs> this is really not going that well. There we go. <coughs> include a link for your personal homepage if you have one. Something that tell tell people more about you. Uh, um, also for branding purposes. A PS is always a good idea, and then you have the link. The cl to click through. Now this is the main link for for the affiliate funnel. Let's try and open that new. This is for the sales page, and that's a that's a now okay link to have in your main safe list app. Of course, you need to have a tracker link instead from one of the tracking services we recommend. Trackinglink.com. This is just an example. But and then when you post the ad tactics, you'll have this on, and you'll see how many clicks this ad will get from from ad tactics. So you tally it up and see does this ad get clicks at all, and where are the clicks coming from? And you start weeding out the safe list that that don't produce anything and concentrating on the ones that do. And if you're getting poor results from all the safe lists, uh, yeah, then it's time to tweak your ads. Now just to repeat a couple of points here. Um, if this was, this was for a regular safe list, the key thing was to have a good subject line to make people click, click through. And then a good ad copy that would make them click through to your site. If you're going to post this text uh, ad at a credit-based safe list, the key thing is to make the ad copy uh, short, to the point, and interesting, and make them stop before they reach the credit link. Well, this would be an okay ad for a credit-based safe list. Now I just found my tracking link for for this 
particular page, so let's paste that in there. And here. As you see, I'm getting ready to post this to Ad Tactics. So let's head over there and log in. <coughs> I'll click the credit mailer here and just paste in the end. So that's it. Um, now I need a credit link here. And in the promotion pages there, they have your main affiliate link. That's what I linked to from the Safeless ad. Because people reading this and clicking the link, that's targeted traffic. They want to know more about the program. The credit link, I want to use to benefit from some random traffic from people that haven't read the subject line, haven't read the ad, but just go to the credit link. So I need that to be a splash page or um, a lead capture page. And I want to have my picture and name on it so I can use it for personal branding as well. And we have one here, the affiliate funnel with my name picture on it. Brilliant for a, for a credit link. So I'll just paste that in there. <coughs> and you don't need to put a, a tracker link on your credit links because they'll get a lot of clicks anyway. So if, you, if you're making your own pages for credit link, you would put a tracker on here, on the link here instead to see if that get, gets click throughs. But that's it, and I'll just post that. I can send that to 1,484 members. Hit send. And it's gone out. Now let's get back to this um, ad here. And this is a text ad. We could make it a lot better using some basic HTML. So now I'm going to show you a program that I use. Um, it's called Easy HTML. Um, it's not a brilliant program, but it works. Just paste the text ad in here, and I'll start converting it to HTML because I can make a make a larger font, use colors, make the links look prettier, and so on. Now the first tip when you use HTML and Safeless that, that is to add a line break at the top because many Safeless have uh, top sponsor ads and you want to have a small space uh, before your own ad appears. So I add a line break. See that one there. And now this is HTML so we need to tell it to actually do the line breaks. You can do a search on Google for, for this program. It's called Easy HTML. But there's a lot of other good HTML editors out there. That was one too many. One there, one there. And finish with a line break. Now I'm going to start putting in some fonts. I'll just mark the whole thing here and click the font. I'll say I want an Amphadana. If I can find it. There. Size 3. And bold perhaps. Add code. And we have here the font face Vedana, size 3 and in front down here and it's bolded. Then I want to do something about my links. Uh, I have this tracker link in here. I just want to have that say affiliate funnel. I 
Do not click the link button. Insert it, and that's already a. Let's see that. Add code. I guess copy that. So here. And my own link, I'll do the same. Just want that to say. Now this is a very basic HTML app, and we can preview it in Firefox here. And as you can see, I missed a line break of the link. So then we'll try again. So now I've done this. It's still a basic text app, but I've just tidy it up a bit with HTML and as you can see it looks a lot better than the standard text type and we'll probably get a, a, a better click through rate at the safe list now I've already shown you one of the ads I used to uh, advertise my <coughs> my traffic exchange as a safe list let's just pull it up again and this is a HTML code. I'll just preview it here. This is more of a wi visual ad, and it is pretty pretty good at stopping people before they reach the credit link. And what I also do here is this is branding. Uh, I'm branding my logo. And even if they just scroll past it and click the credit link, they will have seen my logo the name of the exchange and they'll remember it the next time they see it and the next time and at some point they'll probably join if they see it enough and what I recommend you do here is uh, if you I don't have my picture name on it because this is my own product and program so but if I were promoting s something for someone else I would have my name and possibly my picture on it so even if people scroll past the ad they will still see my face and my name and remember it and six months from now they would see it again and say hey he's still promoting this, this must work for him so it will get you a better conversion rate right now I'm going to try to log into another safe list to show you some some stuff about HTML I'll pick guaranteed results I'll click the credit mailer <coughs> And this is something some of the, the safers have. This is a busy week editor. So here you you could write out your ad. I'm just going to write my name here. And you can make it bold. Change the font. And so on. And you, you could make a basic HTML ad from here. Now I don't use these because I have uh, I have my HTML or just hard coded in Notepad, but it's an option you have. If you're going to pay, uh, post HTML ad and you're not going to use this WYSIWYG editor, you need to click away from it to the text mode and just paste in the HTML code. Now, if you're paste, uh, sending your ad in HTML format, you need to ch often to check uh, the box there. And again, I can send this to that many members. I don't want to save it. And a headline. I'll just pick the headline from inside the ad. And I need to pick pick a credit credit link. And again, I don't want to uh, put in the main sales page. I want to put in a splash page or something, a lead capture page. Now I know this is for my program, but I'll just because I'm lazy, stick that in anyway. And 
that we have it I'll send an HTML app. So this is a program I use, Easy HTML. You can just do a search on Google or and do a Google search for how to guide some on HTML. You don't need to know very m a lot of HTML to make some good ads. Uh, just something like the bold text, italics, how to how to change the font. And stuff like that. It's basic stuff, and and you can use the the editors on site if if they have them. But if you're allowed to use HTML ads, and and you can do it, it it works a lot better than standard text ads. But that's pretty much it for writing ads and doing HTML ads. It's a trial and error thing, um, something you can get good at by seeing what others do, copying them. And by tracking your ads and finding out what people click on, and just keep tweaking your ads, and you'll do fine. Um, and remember to follow the points in the report about uh, how how you create ads for specific types of safe sites. That's um, that's really important. So that's it for this video. I'll hit the stop button and get ready for the next one.